Coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, introducing the challenger, Big. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. They're certainly getting after it all. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Back to the jab now, no good. That's a big strike right there. Well, he missed with that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't <laughs> take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Big kick. Superman punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture. Land the wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man, in that punch. Oh! Oh! Big knee to the body! Missed with that right hand. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand punch the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big head kick. Nice strike. A little single collar tie there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just missed with the left there. You got him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook for all the things that happen in this position. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big knee! playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Solid strike on the ground. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Big kick land. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, that head kick landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, eight in the head. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Look at how he turns his hips. Oh! He's got it right here. Big left. All right, bottom.
bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. He's trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boy, Thai Plum. So, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Flips the shot. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that knee. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Watch knees to the body. Oh! Oh, oh how about Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to 